Welcome to this video blog. This is Chad Clark, Physical Therapy Connections, Pueblo, Colorado. Uh, we just did some knee exercises in another related video. So this one I wanted to take a lacrosse ball. Uh, it could be some of the newer yoga balls that have different consistencies that you could do this if this is a little too firm. But basically there's some trigger points that people get sometimes in their quad or this upper thigh muscle. And you would just use this as an assessment tool trying to find some of the worst spots. If you find a really tight painful spot, what you want to do is you want to keep it as pain free as possible, believe it or not. So you find it, it's painful, and then you would work it side to side, so you're going perpendicular to how the muscle fibers run for the most part. And then you're going to do some parallel movement. So what I tell people is you're making like a T, a cross, or an X pattern, if you want to use that. So you're doing some side to side, some front and back. And what you'll find is within the, that intersection of the T that you're making, there's like the bullseye. That's where you would hold and gradually push to get the release. So those are the three steps. You would want to find an area. Another one that's related to knee pain could be in your calf muscle. And you would find that area. Let's say that's really painful for me. I'd put a, a gentle, gradually increasing pressure. And then what I would do is go up and down and side to side. So there's my T pattern. And then the third step would be hold and gradually push and allow the muscle and the connective tissue to release. The most important thing is yes, you are kind of stretching the muscles, but that connective tissue called fascia, that's what you're really trying to release. That can help you with your pain.